So the last time I dyed my hair was in middle school when I was 13. I had black and purple hair, but after a while my hair started to thin. And so I never played with bleach again. I never went to the salon to get my hair bleached at all. So I usually dye my hair um, maybe like once a year black um, during the summer so that um, in the sun you could see that my hair was a different tint. Now that we have this whole coronavirus thing going on um, and I'm indoors and not really seeing anyone, I thought it'd be really fun to try something a little different. So I had bought henna before the quarantine. Then after about two weeks, I decided instead of dyeing my hair black, I would try to dye my hair gray, um, charcoal in fact. And then I was also going to purchase squid ink and um, I think chestnut from Lime Crime's Unicorn Hairline. Not a sponsor. But I decided to go with um, Neon Peach because I just wanted to see how this color would look on dark brown hair. Like would it tint it just slightly in the sun? I'm not really looking for dramatic color per se, but I don't mind a little bit of tint here and there, even if it's a wild color. Um, and plus orange is my favorite color, so I thought why not? And yeah, so let's get to it. So the instructions call for um, one full jar for a short bob. I have kind of a bob, it's almost like past, it's like past my shoulders a little bit now. But I think, I think instead of one whole jar, oh, well, since I'm using both colors, I'm going to um, only do half and half. So I have my two bowls. I have my little scoopy spoons. Or what is this? I have press and seal. So I don't get the floor dirty or this shirt dirty too much. I have a few clips. Well, and I'm also going to be using a toothbrush. Um, well, two toothbrushes. I forgot to order the um, little brushes for hair dye online um, when I was buying unicorn hair. Um, I, I knew it didn't come with a brush, but I just, I just completely spaced out. Yeah, so let's do this. <laughs> like sandalwood vanilla like sandalwood vanilla I just know that it's a very strong um, fragrance so if you have any issues with fragrances this might not be the product for you but if you're cool with fragrances I mean this is this is great I, li I like this smell um, I'm usually pretty sensitive with um, a lot of different fragrances like usually more floral or like very synthetic like smells and I mean, this is also pretty synthetic, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm usually pretty okay with vanilla or sandalwood kind of smells. Or like that kind of gourmet fragrance. So I'm gonna put my glasses on because I can't really see what I'm doing. Um, so sorry about that. scent of like um it almost smells like spencer's gift store i don't know if um you've ever been to spencer's gift store but this is what that smells like it smells like spencer's gift store and like one of those like cool hippie stores you go to to like get your chakra flowing or something Thank you. 
Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now since I've put unicorn hair on my hair. Um, and I'm honestly feeling a little dizzy, a little ill. Um, I don't know, maybe if it's the scent that's bothering me. Maybe it's like that's um, the charcoal scent from, um, or the, the uh, scent from the charcoal color. Um, but yeah, it's really getting to me. Um, I feel a little queasy, but I'm going to try to, uh, cook up some lunch and hopefully I'll feel better. Maybe it's just, I'm hungry, but I'll let you guys know when, um, when I reach the two hour mark before I wash my hair, how I'm doing. All right. It's been two hours and I think it's time to rinse this all off. Um, I'm actually not feeling too well. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just the smell finally got to me, but I have a really bad headache. And so hopefully after I wash this off, it'll make me feel better. Okay, so I actually finished washing off the hair dye, um, about like three hours ago. So this is what it looks like. Um, you could see that my hair isn't as brown. You can kind of see in the light, the, um, the shine, that little brown shine I usually have is now like a grayish color. Yeah, I'm actually really liking this look. I, I love black hair already, so I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad because it still looks blackish, um, but I do like it, that it has that tint of grayness. Usually when I'm doing henna, I usually get like a purple tint to my hair, but an overall black look. I like that, that it still looks blackish, but it also has a gray sheen to it. I'll probably come back to this hair dye. Usually um, in my day-to-day -day activities, there are times where I need my hair to look a natural color. So I usually don't go for anything drastic. And so I'm happy to see that this looks natural and still gives me kind of a different color than the regular old brown haired look. Yeah, personally, I love dark hair. I honestly wish that I was born with even darker hair. But yeah, uh, the smell is pretty good. It still smells uh, gourmet vanilla, but I did have a problem with the smell as I was waiting for the two hours to pass. So I started to get like a really severe headache, dizzy, I got like nauseous. It was really hard for me to, um, to eat anything um, but I had to eat because I hadn't had lunch and I didn't want to be, uh, I didn't want that to be the reason why I was feeling ill. So I made sure to eat. The headache did not go away until I completely washed the solution off of my hair. And even then it took a while for the smell to not affect me. I'm pretty sure it was the smell. Um, but I think also because I had the solution on my scalp, it might've attributed to my headaches but I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how other people have experienced this hair dye. I did not like the process of doing it. I mean, not just the application. I know I'm bad at application. So like, that's not Lime Crime's fault. But the issue I had with this product was the smell and the headaches. But I don't know if everyone will experience the same thing. I do know a lot of negative reviews come from this gray color. A lot of people complain that it turns into a tint of green as um, a few washes go by. Me personally, I don't have a problem with it. I don't mind if this tint were to turn a little greenish on me. I could see how that would happen with the way the hair dye looks. So if you're not really interested in getting even a little bit of a green tint, I do not recommend this charcoal um, color, but if you do not mind and you do like the gray color regardless, I would definitely pick this up. Just know that it smells like Spencer's gift store, but it's pretty cool. I, I really enjoyed working with this, especially since I have brown hair. So for all you dark brown haired beauties, if you wanted to try something from Lime Crime, I do recommend charcoal. And I'm pretty sure 
After trying this, um, their other colors like Squid Ink, Chestnut, and Sea Witch might show up in your hair at least as a tint. And my experience with Neon Peach was absolutely um, a mess. <laughs> So my problem with Neon Peach is that I could not see where I was applying it. I mean, not just because I'm blind, but because with brown hair, I can't really see the orange anymore once I put the color on as the orange kind of just disappears. Um, so I kind of kept layering on the orange until I could kind of see hints of orange. But either way, it really didn't do much for brown hair which I totally understand. This is only going to show up for people with bleached hair or light blonde hair, and it's only going to tint hairs that are light blonde or dark blonde and light brown. And for me, I have dark brown hair, so this, I knew coming into this, this would not work, but I did wanted to see what it would do to my hair. Because like I said, this is my favorite color. If I didn't have to look natural most days, I would definitely bleach my hair and try again with this because I absolutely love orange. After all, I am a fiery kind of girl. Yeah, so let's take a little bit of a closer look for you guys. So here is all of the gray, right? This here, but underneath this is the orange. As you can see, it just looks brown. Uh, maybe even browner than it was before. You probably can't tell with this light. It is, it does appear to be a little bit different than I remember it, like a darker brown. But I don't know if that's because it probably touched some of the charcoal color as I was putting the charcoal in my hair. Yeah, so washing off was easy. Uh, I went by pretty fast. The only issue is that it does stain like my, um, my hands got a little of that gray stain, but that's because I didn't use gloves. And then um, my face on this side got a little bit of stains on it. But yeah, other than that, it was a really solid product. I'm glad I purchased it. I'm glad I still have more charcoal in the jar and hopefully we'll see how this goes. As I film more videos, I'm not gonna wash my hair for like maybe 48 hours because that's usually the recommended time uh, after you dye your hair. And um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I hope you had a fun time. I hope you gained some insights on different things you could do for the quarantine. Um, but don't bleach your hair at home. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> you don't want to damage your hair. Again, the, the products I used, um, they aren't damaging. So get, try something that won't damage your hair. Or, you know, like, try something you probably won't regret once this quarantine is over. Um, yeah, so...